Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem using Vieta's formulas. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. x sub 1 and x sub 2 are the roots of this equation. And we're going to be finding the sum of the fifth powers of x sub 1 and x sub 2. So I'll be presenting two methods. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the first method first. So if you're trying to find the sum of the fifth powers of two numbers, in this case the roots, we can use factoring, right? So x1 to the fifth plus x2 to the fifth can be factored into the following. x1 plus x2 multiplied by x1 to the fourth minus x1 to the third x2 plus x1 squared x2 squared minus x1 x2 to the third and finally plus x2 to the fourth power. Notice that the powers of x1 are going down and the powers of x2 are going up and the signs alternate, okay? Now, we need to talk about a couple different things here. For example, we can find this easily, but there are other things that we need to find. For example, the sum of the fourth powers. How do you find that? There's a formula actually to, uh, that allows you to find it. So x1 to the fourth plus x2 to the fourth can be found by squaring the sum of two squares like this, but then you can subtract the term in the middle. But then this kind of brings up another issue. We need to find the sum of the squares, and that can be found by using the sum and subtracting 2x1, x2. Make sense? So far, so good. And there's our, there are two terms in the middle, sort of, like center, that can be found because notice that x1 cubed x2 plus x1 x2 cubed by taking the positive sign can be factored into x1 x2 multiplied by x1 squared plus x2 squared. Again, we can find this, we already know, and this is the product. Now, Vieta's formulas give us two things. If you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then x1 plus x2 is negative b over a and the product is c over a. So by using these two formulas, in this case a is equal to 1 of course, you can evaluate all these things and plug them in, okay? But let's go ahead and take a look at the second method because I think the second method is more interesting. First method uses Vieta's formulas, second method uses slightly uh, different method or tools. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. Let's go ahead and Write this as x squared equals 2x plus 4. This is an important identity that we're going to use throughout. So let's go ahead and square both sides. We get x to the fourth equals this expression squared. And that is 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. And now we do need the fifth power. So let's go ahead and find fifth power by multiplying both sides by x. That's going to give us 4x cubed plus 16x. Actually, before we do that, we can go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and replace x squared with this, right? Which is 2x plus 4. And then we get plus 16x plus 16. And now this is going to give us x to the fourth equals 8x plus 16x. 16 plus 16 is going to be 32. So far, so good. Now let's go ahead and multiply everything by x. And then this brings up another issue. We need to replace x squared with 2x plus 4 again. Keep doing it, right, until you get a linear term. And then we get the following, 48x plus 32x. That's going to give us 80x, right? 4 plus 3 is 7, yes, plus 96. Now, we want to apply this to both x1 and x2 because x is basically a root, right? So replace x with x1, you're going to get this. And with x2, you're going to get that. Oh, that should be an x1, by the way. And this gives us the sum of the fifth powers in terms of the sum of the first powers. And since we know x1 plus x2 by using Vieta's formulas, we can actually evaluate this. In our expression, x1 plus x2 is negative b over a, which is 2. That's going to give us... 160 plus 192, which is 352. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.